Hi, I'm Kang Hun Jin, a Cisco Korea SE leader. As you know, today's network infrastructure goes beyond the capabilities of hardware and is being asked to be a business platform that delivers the solution customer wants. That is the reason we need programmability and DevNet. Cisco Korea team has led to effective network performance improvement through the variety of DevNet activities. Today, Cisco's Heyang, Wansu, and Simon will talk about the various DevNet initiatives and events that Cisco Korea has been carrying over uh, over the past few years and some useful case that you might be interested in. And Jung Nam from Contact, which is our partner company, will tell you about the customer application case. I hope this is a meaningful time for you to understand the value of DevNet. Okay, let's start. Thanks, Gang Eun. Uh, hello, DevNet Create. When I think of DevNet, I think about community. It's all about the community members to get together, see, learn, and code. So we have been focusing a lot to enable our partners, customers, and students through API trainings and hackathons. This is one of the examples where we ran a 28 hours nonstop hackathon event uh, where developers would form into a group and started coding uh, on top of Cisco platform to solve environmental challenges and social issues and make an impact on changing the world. We also did uh, many API trainings, which is now called DevNet Express and design thinking workshops. Uh, so anyone who doesn't have any knowledge on how to use Cisco APIs and what's available to code would just come, learn and share the ideas with each other. But we did not want to stop at the ideation and prototyping the code. We wanted to deploy and use those solutions in the real world. So we collaborated with Incheon City to build a living lab in within the Song, uh, Songdo uh, shopping district, where citizens would just come by, experience the great solutions that our uh, partners and developers would develop and benefit from those solutions and give feedback so that we could improve those solutions upon the feedback. Uh, and last year, we had a Cisco Connect and we set up a DevNet zone. As you could see from the video, uh, Sujiri came, came to us and gave us a great inspiring speech about DevNet community in Korea. Uh, and it was uh, packed at the DevNet zone outside the hall. Cisco SE did the presentation on the use cases that we developed with the customer. And we had a hands-on lab ready for everyone to just walk in, uh, test the API. And it was really great to see all of the community members. Uh, and with the launch of DevNet uh, Associate Certification, I started the study group with partner engineers. We met uh, every week for about five months to study together. And about half of them have passed and achieved the DevNet Associate certification. And I did the same thing with Cisco uh, internal engineers as well. Uh, the feedback was really great uh, as engineers could learn many different Cisco solutions, not only the programmability, uh, and they could uh, have a uh, hands-on experience on top of the DevNet sandbox and DevNet learning lab. And we have another Python study group, uh, which is actually one who is leading this group. And those study members uh, have gained a lot of knowledge and skills uh, with this study group. They started to build code and really embraced the Cisco technology and solutions. Let me share some of the examples that they have developed. So this is a Nexus bot uh, on WebEx Teams. You could add, delete, set the alarms, and check the status using uh, the WebEx adaptive cards function so that you get more visual light uh, results from the WebEx Teams. 
so you can see uh, which port is up or down. And this becomes fairly handy when you don't want to connect to a, uh, a portal or a device, log into it, browse those information. Uh, instead of that, you can just simply type the command on the WebEx team and get instant results. Also, this one is uh, one of my favorite. It's Minecraft game on top of Cisco Nexus 9000 switches. And once you deploy those, the, the game on the switch. So once, why don't you uh, talk about what you've done with this? Uh, for the surprising, actually people said it's very impressive to deploy Minecraft and Nexus switch. It was also very successful to show the programmability of a Nexus switch. Also, when I was working at the field, I can automate the work by just uh, 50 or 100 very small Python code. For example, large scale switch measurement, zombie port tracker, and ISA pay integrations. Customers and partners like it because by the code, we can go home earlier. And I share at the uh, YouTube. Now, it's just very small way, but will be spread bigger and stronger with you together. And the last example I want to talk about is the Ansible automation case that we had to uh, deploy about 300 VMs on a Hyperplex for the customer POC. To test the Hyperplex uh, performance, we had to deploy all those 300 VMs, uh, link that with the user active directory. Uh, and it would have taken us about two days if we didn't use the script. But with the uh, power of Ansible, uh, we could finish the test within um, less than half an hour. So it took the programmability and coding, it really helps you uh, to embrace your uh, network capabilities. And we, we do this, we do this enablement uh, so that we could help our customers solve their challenges and issues. And now, Jungnam and Simon will talk about the customer use case that we have been um, doing with the power of DevNet. So Jungnam, could you introduce uh, your use case to the audience? Hello, I'm Jungnam Kim. I will walk you through the IP management system that we developed to be used with Cisco SDA. This was first finance reference in Korea to transform the large financial enterprise to smart digital workplace by utilizing his SDA. If you want to find out more on this case, please refer to the link below. Customer face some challenges during the network operation. First of all, they need to track also unauthorized device that has no IP address or acquired the IP from a DHCP server. Also, every device has no match with the employee database. Secondly, they need to keep 10 years of log record due to Korea government compliance. Lastly, customers want to see employee mobility history so that they can utilize the information from space utilization and employee management. We work with the customer, Cisco Korea SC team, to create a service development model and use the agile methodology to continuously reflect customer needs. With the IP management system and SDA, customer could easily manage their network. They could see the unauthorized device access and event alarm. Check the IP group utilization status and check the IP status with the user information. Also, you could search and track the device, IP, MAC address, and user network access history with the location. Context system is creating business value for the customer with Cisco DevNet. We are currently offering network integration and automation, but our goal is to build an infrastructure autonomy solution because the world is changed. Now, Simon from Cisco will talk about another programmability 
use case. Then I'm going to share more DevNet success cases. Uh, the next case is the Lotte private cloud project. Lotte Group, one of the biggest retail companies in South Korea, had a plan for a next generation data center. The goal of the project was accomplishing private cloud platform with software defined data center infra. The customer had chosen Cisco UCS director for the private cloud engine. And there are a few more features, which is not supported in the UCS director, but the customer needs for the project. Especially one of them was VM auto scaling. The partner TimeGate has implemented the VM auto scaling using UCS director trigger function and could successfully finish the project. Last case is the Samsung. Samsung has adapted its core SD-WAN solution and wanted to push down the routing policy of each VRAT devices based on the URL, not IP addresses. The situation was that the feature was in the product roadmap but was not released yet. Furthermore, the customer need to set up the same routing policies on Samsung wireless controllers at the same time. So one of the DevNet engineer has developed a program which periodically look up the IP address of target URL and configure the same data, data routing policy onto the SDN we manage and wireless controllers. As you can see here, SEs and partner engineers in Cisco Korea are learning and utilizing their programming skills. It is sometimes to solve the business problem and fill the gap between customers' requirements and Cisco product features, and sometimes to integrate several Cisco solutions across domain, and sometimes to reduce ourselves boring and reparative tasks. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed our story and good luck with the rest of the day. Thank you.